Oh, what? This is 720p? What in the world? What is this Fuji? 1990s? What? So guys, I'm going to be showing you how to shoot in full 4K wirelessly with Fujifilm's camera remote app. All right, so right now we are recording in the 720. Yeah, I know. Regardless of the fork, whatever setting you set on your camera, once you hit record, it's just going to downscale the clip into 720p. I know. I get it. It's just doesn't make any sense, right? All right, guys. So once you open up the app, and this is assuming that you are already uh, set up with Bluetooth and Wi-Fi pairing with your camera. So assuming you're all set up, if you were to go to live view shooting, and this is gonna take a while, for it to connect, go ahead and hit join. Still waiting. It's gonna take a while. My camera looks like it's in the connecting screen right now. It should black out in a second. And here we go. So, first thing is go into the live view um, window. Then we're gonna head over to, next to the shutter button, there is a video icon. Go ahead and tap that to switch over to video mode. And right now you could see, oh, connection lost. Yeah, happens a lot. You are watching this live. This is like what we Fujifilm users have to go through just to get started. Oh, okay, we're connected, woohoo. Switch over to video, we better do this quick while we still have connection. So once you're in video, you want to make sure you have all your settings set that you're going to do for recording. Right now, I was shooting in 30p, so I'm going to make sure I have one sixtieth of a second. Um, do everything else you got to set up, whether it's your white balance, um, your ISO, make sure you're all set, your framing is good, and yeah, this is looking good. Let me just reframe my composition a little bit all right once you're all good to go don't record you want to close the window and head back to the main menu now once you're in the main menu maybe this is wasting precious data from my ipad oh my goodness finally okay looks like we're gonna connect. Join. Finally, we're connected. Yay. Okay, so step number two. Step one is to go to live view, get the composition, get your camera settings straight, head over to the remote release button down at the bottom. Now what this is, this works just like the shutter button in the camera. It's basically a virtual shutter button. Oh, or I could say a wireless release button. So if I press it there, oh, now we're recording here. There's the tally lamp, it's on. So I'm recording here now. Yeah, so basically this button works as a physical shutter button in the app. So whatever shooting mode you're in, once you press that button, it's go. So if you're in stills, it's gonna shoot stills. If you are doing a, a burst shooting, it's gonna do burst shooting. But if, since we're in video, 4K is recording in 4K. And you could tell the difference, right? From earlier, 720p, now 4K, you're welcome. Yeah, all jokes aside, uh, this is just a long workaround to get 4K footage wirelessly. Now in the ideal perfect world, Fujifilm, their developers will get together and fix this app. So Fujifilm, is, if you're watching, I know you're not watching because I barely get 20, 30 views in a video. But Fujifilm, please somebody share this to Fujifilm and show them how much of a hassle it is to just to get recording on our cameras wirelessly so please would you film 
fix this. I know it only takes one sentence of code, one little code to tell the camera to use this potential once we're in live shooting, live, live view shooting, and we hit record. Just a little code to let the camera do its thing. But just please give us the full potential of our camera in our hands. So guys, if you like this how to hit the like button, share it, especially to someone who knows Fuji, share it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.